impose an arbitrary cutoff. No, I do not intend to withdraw the nomination of Judge Hainsworth. Uh, I studied his record uh, as it was submitted to me by the Attorney General before I sent the nomination to the Senate. Uh, I have also noted the various items that have been brought up during the course of his uh, hearings in the Senate. Uh, I still have confidence in Judge Hainsworth's qualification and his integrity. Uh, I believe that the Senate should approve him. I believe it will. And I will believe that he will be a great credit to the Supreme Court when he becomes a member of that court, I hope, in the fall term. Now, we've attacked the source of the problem. We've cut the budget by $7 billion. We have monetary restraints. We've asked for an extension of the surtax rather than its complete elimination. And these basic policies, which go to the core of the problem, are beginning to work, as Mr. McCracken pointed out in his speech in Detroit on Monday. Now that the government has set the example, I believe that labor and management would be well advised to follow the example. I'm not jawboning and telling them to do, to reform themselves when we refuse to reform ourselves. But I do say this, that labor and management, labor that asks for exorbitant wage increases, management that raises prices too high, will be pricing themselves out of the market. Anybody who bets on a continuing inflation will lose that bet because our government policies are beginning to work and we're going to stick to those policies until we cut the cost and the rise of living.